Welcome back. Oh. Oh, this dreamy natural wonder we're looking at is Broken Beach. It's located on a small island just off of Bali. Pounding waves from the Indian Ocean eroded the towering cliffs there, creating what you see, this natural archway and what looks like a pool. Kind of, I guess, broken mm -hmm. off from the main part of the uh, the main body of water. Maybe that's why it's broken. Looks beach. like a pool. Yeah. Cool name. Yeah, it does look oh, good. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh, and you can go right through the tunnel there and swim that that's into the ocean. That's spectacular. Another place on my bucket list that people rave about. Oh, oh just that I picture alone. Are you kidding me? Well, most of the time, we may just walk by trees in our neighborhood and not really even notice them. But one tree in Kentucky is pretty special because of what's attached. To its branches. Evelyn <laughs> Schultz is in Lexington with how it all got started. At the corner of Romney and Cochran. This is a very like wonderful neighborhood, very walkable neighborhood. A seed of joy is sprouting. Man, it just brightens up the whole neighborhood. I mean, what you could not be in a bad mood once seeing something like that. Just days ago, this was a regular tree in Julieta Hauser's front yard. I really just wanted to spread love and kindness. Now it's the tree of love, surrounded by painted rocks and adorned with colorful post-it notes. Hauser got the idea from a friend in Los Angeles. She decided it would be the perfect project for her neighborhood and got her friends involved too. As we were together painting the rocks and painting the signs, we just started dreaming of what it would be like for people to walk in the neighborhood and see a message of hope and positivity and we want people to like take the notes uh, or to leave a note. I've had people send me pictures of them walking away with a rock or uh, leaving a note there and that's that's what we were hoping for. It's just something to be light and to bring love into the world. For neighbors like Sarah Turner, that's exactly what happened. She told us she was having a bad day until she noticed the tree of love on her walk to the post office. She couldn't help but leave her own note for someone else to find. This it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> a reminder, love can grow where we might not expect to find it. There's a lot of hard things and a lot of painful things in the world, but there's also a lot of love. <laughs> the tree of love. Nicely Aww. done, neighborhood. I feel like we need some like John Lennon music coming out of that tree or something. <laughs> some just peace and love and kindness. Reminds me, of a story, reminds me of a story we did a few days ago about yeah. the kids in school who were doing the really nice messages on the post-it notes oh, on, yeah. that, on that bulletin board. Kind of the same kind story. of theme to that. You're just a little pick-me-up, you know, where you're mm -hmm. loved, we see you, keep going. Just a little dose of inspiration for the day. Rob, they should hear you. They should have like a stack of post-it notes on that tree for the taking and people can just pull one off and they'll have a bunch of nice messages on them. Just take one as they go about their day. Go about your day. Yeah. There you go, see? <laughs> well done, neighborhood, I like that.